Welcome to the Leather Journey. Tonight we're going to continue our clamp series and we're going to look at a clothespin style clamp. Okay, clothespins are used, uh, you know, for hanging clothes in the old days on a clothesline, but they can be used, as we know, in dungeon play to restrict the flow of blood to a certain area of the skin. And so this style clamp comes in many, many different applications and variations. If I'm hanging clothes, it might look like that. If I'm eating a bag of chips, and when I'm done with the chips, I might need to close the bag up, it might look like that. You can find these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, but it's the same style clamp, a little different tension, and they come in different sizes, different colors. They can be fun. Uh, this one is a little clamp that came from uh, Home Depot uh, or a hardware store. But again, it's that clothespin style, but it has a very heavy spring and it has plastisol tips that will grip the skin. So, you know, you can see the application there. Okay. Uh, again, these are, are the kind of bag clips like you would get. Uh, at the dollar store, they come in different solar, uh, colors. So some of these, all of these that I've showed you so far are what I would call pervertibles, okay? But kinky crafters uh, in kinky toy stores will sell, you know, their version of a clothespin clamp. You can see that clamp, that's very mild. The ten spring tension is very mild. It's got some plastisol on it for padding and grip and 12 inches of chain. That's kind of the industry standard. So you've got two clamps on 12 inches of chain. Okay. And when you're testing a clamp, always test it on the web of your hand so you get an idea of what the tension's like. Okay. This is another style of spring clamp that's you know, done by a kinky vendor and put on 12 inches of chain. Okay, so you can see the commercially done ones as opposed to what I'm going to call uh, vanilla clamps that we've put in, um, in a kinky application or we'll call them pervertibles. Okay, so this would be like an alligator clamp from like an electronics store. Okay. And alligator clamps come in different sizes. These have, this one has bare teeth, but you can find alligator clamps that have the plastisol tips, just like that. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but hanging off of that, I've taken a fishing uh, hook or an attachment it comes out of a tackle box so that it can add something to that to add a little weight to it. So let's say I had a, a lead fishing weight, you know, on a ring, then I could actually uh, attach that and add a little weight to, to the clamp. So now do I not only have it clamped, but I'm providing some weight off of whatever it's hanging off of, you know, whatever body part that's hanging off of. Okay, so you can play around with that. Any one of these clamps that come in a vanilla application, you could put a little split ring on this and something out of the fishing tackle box to be able to hang different size lead weights on. But you can see that's just a clamp like a hobby or crafting clamp that came out of Home Depot or Lowe's. And I took a black one and a red one. Actually, it might have been uh, small. In now that I see one that's black and one that's red, it might have been a small set for like um, charging, a battery charging kit at one point in its lifetime but it's not anymore because I took those, I put a hook off of a tackle box so I could attach weights to them, 
and now it's a, it's a, uh, a clamp. But again, those alligator clips come in all different sizes. That's a very, very tiny one. Typically, the smaller the clamp, as long as the tension's there, the more bitey it's going to be because it's pinching a smaller piece of skin than something that's bigger, like this is going to spread out the tension across, across a larger area. Okay, so this style clamp, whether it's something as simple as a clothespin or whether it's fancy and you bought it from a kink, kinky crafter or kinky toy shop is a lot of fun. Uh, when you go through Home Depot or you go through the kitchen store, uh, pay attention to the clamps and go, hmm, that might hold my bag of chips, but that might also be interesting uh, in the bedroom or in the dungeon. So, as always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.